uh, welcome back to the channel. The, this is just a brief video on the response of the Unity UT216C in rush mode against low amps below 5 amps. It's a question that has been asked, so I just put it out there as a little video so you can actually see the instrument in operation. I have here uh, the computer running the DB Lite software. At the back here we have the SMRT1. Now that's wired into our current loop. Um, since we're less than 10 amps, we can do some of them through the Fluke 185 here that has a fast response mode. However, uh, that's one millisecond response, so that will be measuring peak and not RMS that the current clamp will be measuring. I'll switch this around and zoom the camera in onto the screen so you can see the actual values on the screens rather than the computer doing nothing really. Okay, so we are on our screens to get the current clamp into inrush. Uh, we just hold down the right hand key and you see rush displayed up there. To get our uh, AC amps, we are going to just change the range so that we are in amps mode. And then we go fast response. And then we are currently set to one amp for 100 milliseconds. And there we see it, so we've got 0.6 amps on the UNI-T, and we get 1.418 amps, and then we'll go to 2 amps this time. So 1.7 amps versus 2.762 amps, so 3 amps, 4.173 against 2.7, unfortunately uh, this won't read beyond uh, this now, and uh, we'll show you why. Uh, this is going to be 4 amps. And you see we can go overload there. Uh, it doesn't like it because the it has a min-max function, uh, so it subtracts the minimum from the max, which will obviously go above 10 amps, which it can't handle, uh, even though we're only at 4 amps RMS, but our uh, Unity here has picked up 3.7 amps, so we'll reset him. We'll go to our final 5 amps. And we get 4.6 amps on that occasion. So we've just changed around for DC. We'll inject 1 amp DC into this. We have to stay on AC because our inrush facility doesn't work with uh, DC amps, and we've configured our fluke over to. DC, which should be good, and I'm going to find where the cursor's gone. There he is. I'll switch him on there. And so we've got 1.002 amps against 0.4 amps for one amp. It's two amps. It's three amps. It's four amps. It's five amps. So again, it's probably made the differential has gone over 5 amps for some strange reason. Not sure why. Didn't like that one. Um, obviously what we can do with this is just switch to DC. And you can min max uh, this one as well. So I've just reset the instrument back to down to 4 amps. And we're on fast min max again. And we've converted DC on the Unity and put uh, we're on max mode there, so I'm just wondering how fast it is on the Unity 216C. We'll go again. Uh, 0.67. Uh, so yeah, I would imagine the 100 millisecond pulse is too fast for min max mode on the Unity 216C, whereas on our Fluke, a much higher spec instrument, of course, you can uh, set up to that fast min max. Normal min max, this will miss value as well. Let's uh, just set this to standard min max again. Let's go max again and we'll just do it again and we'll show you. Um, we picked up 1.11 this time, 1.563. Uh, four amps. Both of the instruments are a little bit out on standard 
min max modes so it's fairly typical um, but in fast mode this can pick up the peaks uh, but in rush wise for AC not too bad I will put up a little table of the test results and um, pretty much as expected we know from previous testing that the DC inrush it always does read it a bit low I think it's about 20% low so it'd be interesting to see if these values are in actual fact the same uh, when we've done all the calculations uh, but that'll be it for this video thanks very much for watching hope you found it useful hope I answered the question that was asked and I will see you again in the next one